Question 8, part A. Shade one more square to make a pattern with one line of symmetry. So a line of symmetry is like placing a mirror and having it somewhere where it would look exactly the same, just reflected over that line. Now if we put the line through there, we could, in theory, colour in this square here. Now that's quite a complicated way to think about this one. It's by shading in this square here, we've created a line of symmetry diagonally. Either side is exactly the same shaded in shape. What would have been much easier, I believe, is we could have also shaded in this square here. By shading in this square, we've created a shape which is symmetrical straight down the middle of the grid. It's much easier to visualize. Again, see we have the same shapes on each side, square and a half, square and a half, square and a white half, square and a white half. So that would give us our, one of our potential answers. Either are both worth one mark because they each only have one line of symmetry. If you colored in a different square, but it gave multiple lines of symmetry, that would be a wrong answer. And part B says shade one more square to make a pattern with rotational symmetry of order two. Rotational symmetry is when you turn the shape around. And order two means that when you go all the way around 360 degrees, that the shape will look exactly the same twice, which includes its original position. The only place to do this on this design is to shade in this square here. By turning this pattern upside down, you can see exactly the same design. I'm just going to prove that here using a tool which is built into the computer. But you could, of course, just pick up your paper and turn it upside down. So if I rotate this image now, it still doesn't look the same. Yeah, that upside down is exactly the same pattern. Granted, the colour is a bit different because I'm using black instead of grey. But that's still order one. Rotate it back round and two. So when rotating all the way around, it comes back to its original position and therefore has rotational symmetry of order two.